China signaling they could make a possible attack on Taiwan. Vladimir Putin holding nuclear drills as Russians build air raid shelters in major cities. Washington Insider Armstrong Williams joining us this morning to discuss. Good morning to you. Happy Monday. Good morning. First, Chinese Communist Party leader Xi Jinping opened the party's National Congress with a speech vowing to bring Taiwan under China's control. So Armstrong, how soon could we see an invasion and how will the U.S. respond? You know, I, I don't think we appreciate the impact of Speaker Pelosi's visit uh, uh, on China's psyche, where they absolutely felt, we felt one of their provinces were doing business and conducting foreign relations. It's just like uh, a head of state comes to the United States and Texas decides to conduct the foreign relations and host them. And China is still outraged by it. And what they're saying, this kind of behavior continues. Uh, we've got to step up to the point where we've got to protect ourselves from foreign invasion. And if that means that we have to use force, we will do so. But we prefer a diplomatic channel. So China is still outraged that they're very vulnerable when it comes to Taiwan, and they just want to put this to rest. And on Wednesday, Russian President Vladimir Putin monitored nuclear drills following his warning to use all means available. How close do you think we are to a possible nuclear war? Well, much of this was um, posturing and showing the world that Russia still matters because of its nuclear arsenal. And what Russia wanted to do was show the world that they could still have a global impact by testing their weapons by land, sea, and air. And so it was a military exercise of its nuclear arsenal. Whether um, we're facing an imminent nuclear um, a disaster, that remains to be seen. But I think it was more to send a message to the West that we're not to be messed with. In the meantime, though, the U.S. has announced it's going to send upgraded atomic weapons to Europe. And it's also talking to Finland about you know, repositioning nuclear weapons there. So talk to us about the strategy behind this, Armstrong. Well, well Jan, there are two sides to this coin. The United States was always um, upgrading and modernizing the B-6112 airdrop gravity bomb. And it was scheduled to be delivered in Europe next spring but they decided to speed up the process to deliver it in December. Now, you could say the nuclear talk from Russia may have sped up this process, but this was a process that was already in place. Uh, and what they've been doing, they've been undergoing for years, swapping out older weapons for new ones, making sure that these weapons are efficient and effective if they're ever put to use. I'm Sean Williams, always great to see you on this Monday. Have a great week, my friend. Thank you, Jan.